Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Sunday, May 23rd, 2021. Today's puzzle has a title. It's called You Do the Math. I'm a little worried because I was more of an art major than a math major. But let's see what we have in store for us here. All right, one across. Supply for an ultimate frisbee team. Um, I guess it's discs, maybe? Um, I'm not sure if it's a C or a K here. The frisbees are all discs, right? Let's actually take a peek at this real quick. Sign of distress. Hmm. Call something. It might start with a C. It might be like call for help or something. Grow faint could be dim. All right, I'm feeling good about discs. Coffee order specification. Hmm. And it starts with an I? Garment whose name sounds like an apology. I guess that's a sorry. Like many wildflower seeds? Hmm. Shelled, maybe? Does that fit? No. I was just thinking like sunflower seeds, maybe. Why should blank? Maybe why should I care? It's very cold. Oscar winning actress born Mary Louise. Hmm. Mary Louise what? I guess, is this her last name? It's not Monroe, is it? Marilyn Monroe? Do we have a Rebus here? My Rebus spidey senses are tingling pretty intensely. Let's let's put in Monroe here. That would give us on in a Rebus here. Monroe, okay. So, hmm. This is still weird though. Icon. I would want that to be iced. Hmm. Is it a one? Like a number one? But Monroe doesn't, it's not M-O-N-E-R-O-E. -E. Hmm. I'm gonna put a C in here. Seeds. And it starts with S-E-E. -E. All right, let's take a look at this long one. This is probably something to do with the theme. That was great. No, it stunk. Sounds like Stetler and Waldorf from The Muppet Show. Um, well, I guess they would both think it stunk <laughs> if it was them, so I guess it's not them. Um, hmm, yeah, I'm not... I, I wonder if these are gonna be like mathematical terms that could be interpreted to mean like two different reviews or something. Hmm, you know what, let's take out Monroe because why would there be a rebus here if this was just like a completely different kind of theme? Maybe I'm just wrong about that. And this could be iced coffee. That would make things a lot more simplified. Um, hmm. Division? Because they're kind of like arguing, right? It could be a division. Oh man, yeah, it's hard to build out. Um, maybe we can start with this section and that would help build these long downs here. Setting for Joe Nesbo's best-selling crime novels. Hmm. I think he showed up on the puzzle a week or two ago, but I don't remember this. Is it like the USSR or something? Mild, light-colored cigars. I don't smoke cigars, so I don't really know. Has a tete-a-tete. -a -tete. I guess that could be meats, right? That's a head-to-head. -head. It's like a way to describe a meeting. An M. Milds? Not quite. Hit film set aboard the spaceship Nostromo. Oh, I know that one. That is alien. Yep. Okay, so it's not meats. Um... Hmm. Pale pinkish purple. Could it be lilac? It was just lilac season. My neighborhood smelled so good the last couple of weeks. 
Light-footed. Hmm. It's not spry. It's not deft. Lofty. Hmm. Is this another theme? It is. Route 70 in. Route 10, Route 95, Route 101, Route 70, Route 25. Oh man, I'm gonna have to like really reach back to my like mathematics classes in high school. Uh, this looks like a set. I think these little curly brackets mean this is a set. So there's one, two, three, four, five things in the set. So route 70 would be the fourth item in the set. Does that help in any way? Hmm. Not especially. Oh boy, should have paid closer attention in math class. Boutros Boutros Gali's home city. Well, Boutros Boutros Gali was the secretary general of the UN. I'm not sure where he's from though. 2019 box office flop described by one critic as Le Miauserables. <laughs> I guess that has to be cats. Yeah, those CG cats did look a little Miauserable. Nearly 5,000 square yards, could that be an acre? Seems pretty likely. Comparative word? Maybe then? This is more than that, possibly? Matched up. Hmm. Feeling tender could be achy. So maybe matched up is synced? I like that. One side of a 2015 nuclear agreement. Yeah, that's Iran. Sadly, that deal is no longer in effect. Um, so maybe this is Cairo. It's looking pretty likely there. Um, difference. It looks like difference, right? This is a difference of opinion. Um, and difference is something you can do in mathematics. Uh, is there a phrase in mathematics that has difference at the beginning of it? Difference equation? Not quite. Hmm. I'm going to try and keep building off of this in this direction here. Wipe out slangily? Could that be eat it? Like eat dirt? They have stems and whiteheads? Hmm. Well, dandelions, maybe. I don't think that's what they're asking for here. Whiteheads. Is it some kind of flower that's not a dandelion? Have because of. Hmm. Oh, this is going to be O2. I owe my position to someone. Okay, yeah. Picks the brain of? Hmm. Apartment in real estate lingo. Hmm. I don't really know real estate lingo. Is it just a room? It's irreversible. Hmm. Boy, I'm not sure about that either. What has interest in a car? Uh... And this is wordplay. This interest word is definitely where I think the pun is going to be. I think maybe it's an auto loan. Yeah, because that would be specifically about a car. You'd be paying interest on it. Okay. Asks? Maybe for picks the brain of? That could be. Hmm. It starts with a U. Difference of opinion? Is it because there's a minus sign here? <laughs> so you'd be taking the difference of these two opinions? Okay, all right. Uh, opinions, difference of opinions. Okay, so maybe it's just, yeah, you're using math on language. Um. Hmm, I'm still not sure about this one. C 
cause it a smudge? Hmm. Muhammad's father-in-law? Hmm. Muhammad. I, I don't know. Is that like in Islam, Muhammad? Fastener that leaves a flush surface is maybe a tea nut? Crux of the matter? That could be a nub. That's the crux of the matter. Is this meridian? It looks like meridian. Fourth meridian? Maybe this is not lilac. I guess lilac is more of a, it's more of a purple color than pink. So, uh, no, Meridian doesn't fit even. Okay. Hmm. All right. Well, let's see if we can maybe work our way back up into it. Long, loose robe could be a kimono. It's a Japanese robe. Leave momentarily. That could be step out. Just step out for a minute. Okay, this is a unit. Okay, I have heard that word before. It's irreversible. That would definitely be time. Yeah, there's no way we know of to go back in time. Sound of disdain could be sniff. Oh. Oh, this is so tricky. This is about music. Half notes. Because they have the stem and then the little oval is not filled in, so it's white. Wow, that is a great clue for that. That's really hard. Drive from could be oust from. You could like oust someone from office. Blank deal, it's a deal, yeah. Snitch, um, tattles? No, it's not in that like present form. Hmm, I'm not sure about that one. Brief evocative account. Hmm. You're retelling your story about what happened? Diarist Nin, that's Anias Nin, yes. I've seen that on enough puzzles where I've learned it. She was like a kind of erotic writer and uh, prolific diarist, yes, okay. Hello Blank. Old cell phone ad line. That's Hello Moto, I think, from Motorola. Subatomic particle? There's so many. I mean, maybe it could be a muon. Those letters look pretty good. Some nice cameras for short. SLRs? I think that's single lens reflectance. Something like that. It enables you to look directly through the, the lens so you get a good idea of what your photo is going to look like extemporizes so that means you're kind of like making stuff up hmm i wonder if muon is wrong how spring rolls are cooked yeah that should be in oil right so it's not muon i'm not sure what it is though university of florida athlete that should be a gator for sure um can we get this now Oh, is this a vignette? Ooh, yeah, that's like a short story. That's a great piece of fill there. Oh, this is vamps. Yeah, if you're kind of like spinning your wheels and <laughs> just trying to kill time with the story, you're vamping. Yeah, okay, and this is a pion. Uh, I don't think I ever would have guessed that. Okay. This really looks like it wants to be tattles, doesn't it? Hmm. Well, maybe it's a tat tattler, like a noun. It's not a verb. Very tricky there. Rating for risque shows. Um, is it teen? I would think it would be rated adult if it was risque. Hmm. Yeah, because modern party planning tool, I think, should be an evite. And then this could maybe be like TVMA for like mature audiences. That makes more sense to me. What two Vikings have explored? This is a great clue. 
Vikings were the name of uh, NASA probes, right? And I think they explored Mars. Very, very nice clue there. First work read in Columbia's Literature Humanities course. It's probably the Iliad. It's a classic. Like some news coverage. Um, hmm. I'm not sure what that is. Recurring pain. Recurring pain? And this is wordplay. What kind of pain? Is it a different kind of pain? Hmm. Is it bread in French? <laughs> I don't think so. Squeeze? Press, maybe? Oh, maybe this is talking about a person, like a little kid that's annoying, that's a pain. Could be an imp, like a little troublemaker. This is very, very hard. This could be Metro, like city news. Okay, that's good. All right. Fruits often used in sushi. I guess that would be avocados. I love avocado rolls. Okay. Blank in the hole, British dish. I am not enough of an Anglophile to know that. Word after combat or cowboy. That's got to be boot. Cowboy boot, combat boot. Yep. Toad in the hole? Seems like it has to be. Have things in common. That could be overlap, maybe like a Venn diagram. Like music that uses conventional keys and harmony. Hmm. Music and math knowledge? This puzzle's asking a lot for me. Summer hours in Iowa. I think that would be central daylight time. I always forget when daylight and standard time are. I think daylight is during the summer. Uh-oh. More math. Okay. Cattle in. Cattle over pigs. Um, so are you dividing cattle by pigs? So it would be like the numerator. Uh, <laughs> I'm still not quite grokking the math part of this. Hopeless predicament. Hmm. It's like a lost cause, maybe. What the nose knows? Is it just smell? Seems a little too easy. Is this tonal? This has to be avocados. Slippery could be eely, as in like an eel. Dames at blank Broadway musical. Is it dames at sea? Sounds exciting. First line of a Seuss classic. I think that is maybe I am Sam. Sam I am. Green eggs and ham. Vodka mixer, that can be soda. A lot of things mix with soda. They come in a boxed set. Is it DVDs? Could be. Summer Olympics host before Tokyo. Was it Rio? Maybe? This is divide, divided, isn't it? It has to be. But then, did I get this wrong? Jeez, okay. Um, okay, I guess it's standard time. Uh, is it dividers? Something dividers, it looks like it. This is just totally baffling to me. I have no idea what that's gonna be. Massive reference books, that has to be the Oxford English Dictionary, plural, I guess. Brainy sort is a nerd, yes. Collector's item? Hmm. Boy, we're just having so much trouble breaking into this area. Room dividers? This has to be something to do with a cow. Bovine dividers? Hmm. Hmm. 
Nice going. Could that be good one? I'm just gonna try and fill in as much of this as I can. Whale constellation, I think is Cetus, the name for the whale. Uh, <laughs> still don't know what that is. Royal Staff? I want that to be Scepter, yeah. I think that's much more likely than good one. Scepter, it's like the rod that a royal person would wield. Org whose website has a what can I bring section. It's gotta be TSA, right? What you can bring on an airplane, the Transportation Security Administration. Um, stock dividers? I guess that's probably what it is. I've never heard of a stock divider before. Hmm. Co-captains, company captains, that's wordplay. So it's not gonna be like a co-captain on a ship. This is going to be a chief executive officer at a company. Is this you rock? Yeah, maybe. Okay. Burrito condiment, it's gotta be sauce. Is it red sauce maybe? I don't know about that. Oh, this is a curio. This is like a curio cabinet where you would keep your collection. Okay, it's not something you'd actually collect. Uh, wet ink could cause a smudge, all right. Cereal grain is oat, very good. Uh, man, I have no idea. It's looking like it's gotta be Omar though, right? So this is median. Um, it, ah, what? <laughs> Isn't median the middle most thing? Like if you're, if you're taking the average of things, the median is like the center most of all the things you have in your set, right? Would that mean root 101 and root 70 are both medians? No. Root 101 would be the median here, wouldn't it? Am I crazy? This doesn't make any sense. Highway median? Yeah, this, this doesn't make sense to me. Why is this the median? If it was here, it would be the median. Oh, wait, they didn't put them in order. Oh, that's why, oh my God, that's so hard. Why couldn't you just put them in order? <laughs> you have to make it harder. Okay, so it's 10, it, it should, if they were in order, it'd be 10, 25, 70, 95, 101. Okay, <sighs> so it is, it is the one in the middle. It's just because they had them out of order. All right, wow. I don't know if I agree about making it that much harder, but that is a very clever clue. Okay. Wife of Albert Einstein. Uh, is it Irma? Edna? Hmm. Self sewn? Oh my God. <laughs> That's really hard. Yeah, I guess like dandelions, right? They just kind of blow away in the wind. They don't need a pollinator or a bird or anything to carry the seeds. That is really hard. Okay, so is this Meryl? Meryl Streep? All right. Okay, sign of distress is gonna be cry for help. I guess this is Oslo. Yeah, I guess they take place in Norway. Maybe I do remember that, I'm not sure. Is this Elsa? Hmm. I mean, it makes sense that this would end in an S because it's cigars, plural. It's, I'm still not sure what it's gonna be though. Yeah, this is agile for light-footed. Oh, it is a lilac after all, jeez, okay. Lofty, tall, <laughs> okay. Um, chats, yeah, okay. That is meeting with a discussion involved. Claros, I've never heard of that. 
Parts of cars and stoves. Hmm. Some part that they have in common. High profile interviewer of Harry and Meghan. Okay. I don't know anything about royalty, but I did. This was just like so omnipresent on the news that I did hear about it. That was Oprah, right? Her interview. So maybe this is not red sauce. Red sauce would be like Italian, right? This, this should be hot sauce. Okay. Style of Roxanne in Moulin Rouge. Hmm. I've never seen Moulin Rouge. I don't know. Drawn out. Something that's taking a long time. Birthstone for Hillary Clinton, Kamala Harris, and Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. I guess maybe Opal? I don't know what month that is. It's a pretty stone though. Unless you disagree. Uh, equivalent phrase could be or not. H-O-O? -O. Hooch? I don't think so. Billions error for short. Uh, uh, I'm not sure what network that airs on. Is it not Opal? What is this one? Drawn out is slow. Comics character with the dog, Daisy. Hmm. This should be an S, because this is plural, right? Parts. So maybe it's Showtime for short. Yeah, good. Okay. Oh, is this a tango? That's a kind of a dance, right? Okay, so hoods. Yes. It is nice to have a stove with a hood. You can blow away all that smoke if you burn something. Okay, so this is Dagwood from Blondie, right? Okay. That comic strip, by the way, has a fascinating history. I know if you're reading comics today, it might not be that interesting, but it started out like pre-depression and it goes all the way through modern day. It's it's a pretty interesting read about how it mutated over the years. Okay, partially. Hmm. To a part? Yeah, I know, that's not even close. Disney character who says, some people are worth melting for. That has got to be Olaf. Good, sweet, loyal, goofy Olaf. Okay, less sportsmanlike. Um, hmm. I'm not sure what that's going to be. Oh, God. Okay. This is et al. again. We're going to have to pick uh, if it's two I's or an A. Et Ali is for men and mixed gender, if you're referencing men and mixed gender. At Alia is if you're referencing a thing. Um, and at Alia is if it's just women. Um, let's take a look here. Make sparkling. Air rate. Ooh, look at that. We had a good guess there. Very nice. Uh, less sportsmanlike, could that be dirtier? If you fight dirty or if you play dirty. That's not sportsmanlike. All right. Mathematician Descartes. That's Rene. Don't put Descartes before the horse. Okay, tease. Um, hmm. Rag on, it could be a lot of things. Blank mess, English dessert of berries, meringue and whipped cream. Uh, <laughs> Eaton? I mean, Eaton is a thing in England. Could be Eaton mess. It's kind of a pun too, right? Eaton mess, like eating mess. That'd be kind of fun, actually. Uh, is it gonna be Ragon? Is this Iago? Shakespeare character who inquires, are your doors locked? Definitely Iago from Othello. Um, okay, so I'm gonna put in Ragon. Two-person meeting, a one-on-one, -on -one, also known as a tete-a-tete. -tete. Hamilton to Burr, definitely an enemy. Enough of an enemy that you would murder him in a gun duel. Certain sots. 
Okay, people that drink a lot are sots. Winos? Oh, that's so cruel. Okay. Naturally occurring hexagonal crystals. Oh, I guess that's snow, because those are six pointed formations, right? Toffee bar brand? Is that skull? Is that right? No, I guess it's score because kind of vaccine used against COVID is RNA vaccine, right? Those miracle vaccines by Pfizer and Moderna. Yeah. Okay. Bear times tiger. This has to be animal something. Um, and you're multiplying, which can also be called a product if you multiply some things, right? So, so that could be animal product. Nice, very nice, okay. We finally, I think, are getting the hang of this theme. What would you get if you crossed a bear and a tiger? It would be something you wouldn't want to cross, that's for sure. Okay, Tendis is Nadal familiarly. I think that's Rafa, because he's Rafael Nadal, right? Green cards informally. Hmm, like a green card like an immigrant would get? I'm not sure. Can we get some of these downs? Done again. It probably starts with re. I'm not sure how it ends though. Chef Waters who pioneered the organic food movement. Ooh, I don't think I know this. Mrs. Blank, Beauty and the Beast character. That is Mrs. Potts. I know that. Voiced by Angela Lansbury. She was wonderful. Major move for short could be a relo, relocation. That's also kind of real estate lingo. Was fed up. Is this about having enough food? Mm, I think it actually is just had it. If you've had it, you're fed up. Um, maybe this is redux. That's when you're doing something again, right? Hmm. Is this Alice Waters? That name is vaguely ringing a bell to me. Oh man, what is this though? What's this long one? Easterlies? Easterlies, is this like a wind? Is this a rat trap? Hmm. Terrell? Yikes, I've never seen this term before. Hopefully that's right. Words often replaced when singing, take me out to the ball game. Yeah, that's home team. Cause we'll root, root, root for the home team. Usually you'll swap in whatever home team you're actually seeing that day. Oh, okay. So this is not, not an immigration thing at all. It's uh, American Express, right? Shortened it's Amexes. Nice, that's pretty clever. Cause their credit cards are green. Unless you have the fancy ones. Uh, okay, so this is about wind. Easterlies could be trade winds. Very tricky. Hardly any could be a few. Cartographic collection. Cartographic is about maps, so maybe a collection of maps would be an atlas. All right. Can we take a look at this last theme answer? Can we have a good finale here on our math theme? Oh, another set. Okay. Car in, plane, car, train, horse, car, car, train. Okay, so I think we're kind of taking the average again this time, except this time it's not gonna be the median. How many things do we have here? Seven. And there's three cars, two trains, one plane and one horse. Yeah, I think this is gonna be the mode because the mode is the thing that shows up most often in a set, right? So that's gonna be mode of transportation. Very good, I like that one a lot. That's very good, these are all modes of transportation. Partially. Hmm. Offering to a house guest. I guess that's a spare room. Yep, okay. What was this? Where the king lived, oh. The king of rock and roll, Elvis? That was Memphis, Tennessee, right? I guess 
there was probably some kings that lived in Memphis, Egypt too, right? Wasn't that kind of like a royal city? Okay, greet grandly. Could that be hail? Its merchandise often comes with pictorial instructions. It's definitely Ikea. Those are nice, actually. I just put together an Ikea um, kind of uh, shelving unit and those little pictures are super helpful. <laughs> They're just like, don't do this, do this. It's nice that you don't actually have to read and you can just look at the easy pictures. Trees under which truffles might grow. I guess that's oaks. De blanc, response to merci. Oh, this is French. Um, I guess it's French for your welcome. I actually don't know this. Credit application figures. I guess it's social security numbers. De rien. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what that means. Hopefully the goose with his expert French knowledge can let us know what that means. In touch and out for two. I guess those are both magazines, right? Could that be mags? Textures, then again. Uh, I think that could be on the other hand. Cloud contents. Not like a rain cloud, right? Maybe it's like a computer cloud. That could be data. It's a little tricky there. It's a kind of misleading clue. Part of a golf club could be a shaft. Yeah. Was accepted, could be got in. Pong company is definitely Atari. All right. So what do we have on the downs here? Font flourish is a serif. Yeah, it's a little kind of bases and caps on top of letters. To a point is partially. Okay, yeah. I just wasn't seeing that. Took too much for short could be OD'd. Blank contendere. That's no low contendere. That's a uh, kind of courtroom Latin for pleading no contest. I've just learned that on crosswords. I am not a lawyer. Provide funding for is endow. Set fire to the rain singer. It looks like it has to be Adele, right? Is this MS-DOS at the end here? PC platform popular in the 80s, yes. It was about the only platform. And then Blank Moore, anti-property entrepreneur of the Robin Hood Foundation, I guess is Wes Moore. I've never heard of him. All right, let's see if that does it for us. Let's see if we passed our math test. Oh no, <laughs> we failed. All right, let me see if I can track down our mistake and I'll get back to you. I just, <laughs> I just found a really messy section that I just, I can't believe this. I spelled avocado wrong. Oh boy. Okay. We wanted this to be tonal, right? Yeah. So I think that's what it is. I can't believe I spelled avocado wrong. I'm morally embarrassed. I'm never going to be able to show my face at a vegan meetup ever again. Um, so I guess this is tonal. And remember, I was like stock dividers. What is that? That doesn't make any sense. And then I got this wrong again, but I actually had it right. It was D because it's not dividers, it's stock dividend. Because a divider would be the pig anyway. I was thinking that that was really weird, um, but a dividend is on top. Okay, so we should have stock dividend, tonal, and central daylight time, which is in the summer. I had it right after all. Boy, I was so disappointed with myself for not getting that right. So at least that's a little bit of a redemption there. All right, so let's see if that does it for us. Tonal and stock dividend. Nice, okay, there we go. Well, that only cost us an extra minute or two, so that wasn't too bad. Just over 40 minutes is a very good time for us on a Sunday puzzle. How do we feel about this math theme? Do we have a difference of opinions? I actually ended up liking it quite a bit. Um, I think, um, they, they ended up relying on the, like, averages twice with mode and median. I think that's, that's probably fine. It's really not that big of a deal. Um, because we've got subtraction, we've got kind of an average here, we've got dividing, we've got multiplication, and then we've got kind of like another type of average. Okay, well, yeah, I think that seems pretty good. I mean, I guess you could do like um, square 
or yeah, maybe some other things, but I don't know. It probably would have been hard. So I think these all are actually pretty darn good theme answers here. And, um, and yeah, there was a bunch of other good long fill. There was some good wordplay. This half notes one was very tricky. I liked that. Um, this is kind of tricky too. This showed up a week or two ago though. So I was onto it because I had seen it recently. Um, and yeah, I think overall for Sunday, this is a very strong Sunday. Yeah, I liked this one. Well, I hope you enjoyed the product of all our hard work on this Mathematical Sunday. I am going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the nice easy Monday puzzle. And yeah, I think that's going to do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.